Hello everybody, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today we're going to talk about the Helmet of Grit, which is this helmet right here, Helmet of Grit. Uh, when you are below 50% HP, uh, you have an additional bonus action, and you get Dexterity Saving Throws plus one. Fantastic helmet if you want an extra bonus action. So pretty nice. And it makes your eyes all glowy and stuff when the uh, effect is active. So, pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like without the uh, the hidden. So, let me show you guys where it's at. We are at the Lower City Central Wall, which is in Act 3. So, west of, just follow this area of Basilisk Gate all the way over into the Lower City. Then what we're going to do is right behind the actual glyph, so we're going to go inside this building. And I'm going to try not I'm going to try not to spoil like a bunch of stuff. As best as I can. So, we'll go up these stairs. Then we're going to take this path right here. We're going to go through this door. We are going to go up this ladder. Then once you get up here, you're going to come across some uh, mind-controlled dudes. I won't say what they're mind-controlled by, but convince them that uh, you're here. Whatever you got to do, just convince them to get past. I don't want to spoil too much of anything. And then you want to go through this door. And then we're gonna come up through here. And then basically you wanna go through this door. Then, once you're in here, we are gonna make our way to the bottom. So take a right through this hallway. And come down these stairs right here. And eventually you'll come across this, uh, like a cursed room. This body is cursed. And basically, as soon as you enter, you're gonna go into, uh, turn base mode. And basically, all you wanna do is go through here, open this body up. And inside here will be the Helm of Grit. It'll either be on that body or in this chest. I can't exactly which. But that is where the Helm of Grit is. So an additional little tip I recommend is you can actually remove the curse. So you don't have to deal with any of that. Then you can actually use Speak with the Dead to get additional information on Victoria. I won't spoil anything else. 